What is that noise? Are you? I don't know. I hear it too. Boom, boom. Yeah. (laughs) I think it's actually just Maggie walking around. (laughs) Is it Max? I think so. Yeah. So you're down. From Straw Hut Media. This is Brandy Glanville unfiltered. Hey Ryan, how are you today? I'm pretty good. We're virtual today. We are virtual and it's probably better because Mason is taking a COVID test every day because he's just achy and like he had a fever, but then it went away and he's just, he's, I think he's fighting something. So you're better off not being in this house. Yeah, but you're not getting it, right? You're, you feel fine. I've been, I went and got vitamin shots yesterday. I've been like, I just have vitamin C and zinc every day. And I'm, I'm you, know, you know, all the vitamins I take. I'm not I've trying to get them. it. Plus I wear a mask <laughs> when, when he comes near me, I put my mask on in my house. And like, even oh. with the air on, I have all the windows open for the most part. And so. Oh, that's good. That's good. Well, yeah, well, that's nice. Okay. Yeah, I, I hear there's, I told you over the phone, Yesterday, there's like a surge, a new surge. I know. New COVID surge. That's why I. That's why we're having him test, but he's taking all my tests up. I'm like, if you didn't have it yesterday or the day before, you're probably not going to have it today. But go ahead, use all it's of hard my to tests get them again. I don't know, but I, I mean, I'm running out. I'd like to. I'd like to have like a little stash. Yeah. No, it's you good know to just have. in case. Yeah. Um, it's not like we've got, we've got a couple. Yeah, for for housewives on the other day, or yeah, the other day, they sent me a liquid one. It's fancy, it's way fancier than the ones you and I have been taking. And it beeps you and you have to wait 30 minutes. Nose? Oh yeah, but it's just, it's just way, it's like a machine. It's, it's more, um, what do you call it? I don't know. It's technical. No, no, it, no, I'm saying it's, it, you get a better, it's more result yeah a- oh accurate yeah more accurate fuck i'm just not here today but i am so excited because today we have a john o'hurley and he has got the best voice by the way like oh. i've ever heard in my life like he could do any voiceover for anything and i would just be happy um and i'm such a huge seinfeld fan that i know every episode i watch it and i watch i fall asleep to it at night like i watch I, I just no. I just watched the one where Elaine was dancing poorly yesterday. Oh, that's a that was a really good one. <laughs> well, yeah, it's so really. Why, who who's John O'Hurley in the Seinfeld universe? So he plays George Costanza's boss, yeah. and he's just he's just. <laughs> I mean, I love that there's a show about nothing that I'm so obsessed with. Like they're like, we want to make a show about nothing. It's the characters, like it's just you love the, them. I do, and like even like he, uh, John isn't on a ton, but they like the the ones that are on a ton like make such an impact. Like, um, yeah, the, uh, what's the guy's name? Put, putty, buddy, putty. Newman. Oh, okay. no, Newman. I, I, Newman is bad. I love Newman, <laughs> but like in a good way. Newman is shady. I love Newman. Um, there's a guy oh. that I, I think his name is Putty. I cannot think of it right now, but I don't know. Did you notice I have a new plant? <laughs> yeah, it looks like hairier or fur or like fluffier. You, whatever, you know the word. Because you yeah, trimmed your other one all weird. <laughs> it's fuller. The other one was dead. We had to let it go. Fuller. That's the word. Fuller. Fuller. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, well, <laughs> let's bring him on. I want to I hear about this new thing that it's, he really is going to change the world, this guy. First of all, I have to tell you, I'm a huge fan, like huge. Oh, thank you, Brent. Oh, you're very oh, sweet. Oh, you don't even know. I was like, what? He wants to do my podcast? <laughs> and then I read like what you're doing and I honestly thought it was a joke at first. I was like, oh, he's just being funny because you're always funny. And I read <laughs> it and I'm like, if this shit is real, this is going to really save me because I have fraud. like. My email's been hacked. I have fraud on every credit card every month. I have, like, I cannot tell you what I have to deal with. And mm-hmm. so it's quite the pivot for you from, from acting. Well, you know, not really. Uh, I, because um, 
I do a lot of my time off camera uh, with uh, working with businesses with great ideas. I have I have this and I have uh, several other technologies that are real game changers. And this certainly is a game changer. Oh, my gosh. I when So it's a hand and your face, correct? That you well, have to... it'll be it'll be many things. Uh, it'll be. Uh, yes, it will have all of the biometrics, which will include handprints, fingerprints. Uh, every part of your face will be scanned. So in other words, it goes into a three dimensional probe Ooh. as well. So, yeah, <laughs> dear. Um, the um, and it will also uh, it will also pick because you will be on a 30 second call to verify that you are a living, breathing oh. human being. It will also have voice recognition to it. So it adds that into the metrics as well. Uh, additionally, it scans all of the uh, available data in the world that uh, you have ever been part of. So it sifts oh, through those. <laughs> uh, well, it sifts through all of those to make sure that, to weed out the fraudulent ones. Uh, so what, what does it come up with? Basically, uh, it comes up with the most intricate form of um, proven identity that exists right now. The failure rate is one in nine hundred and thirty three billion. Billion. The failure rate. Oh, so it's basically fail proof. I mean, almost. Essentially. I'll go with yes. that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, let's back it up a little so people know what we're talking about. Um, you started like Elon Musk said he wanted to authenticate human beings or whatever. Right. And mm -hmm. I thought that was a joke, too, but I guess it wasn't. But, you know, get rid of the bots on social media. Get rid of, you know, which will be so helpful for me because I have a lot of bots that hate my guts. So please help sure. me. And people and people that recreate themselves as you. And then you can't control that. In fact, you don't even know that they're out there out there. Oh, I know a few. I'm like, that's you guys. It's not me. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. like, I, I really don't know how like I'll I'll report it to Instagram or I'll report it. Um, but it's, it takes forever and you can't control it. And then, you know, people will say like once somebody one of my friends Twitter got hacked and they said some really horrible things. I'm like, are you sure you weren't just drinking that night? No, that's and, exactly you're, right. no. and you're trying to get out of something? <laughs> I, was, I was on that ambient binge again, <laughs> right. yes, I know. Oh my <laughs> God, I used to take, never again, but I used to take that getting off subject and I would have fights with my ex-husband that I don't remember. That's probably why we got divorced. Well, no, that's not why we got divorced, but <laughs> like I, zero recollection, like crazy. That shit is some real shit, but so, this is this is to, like this is going to be next level. You know, this is huge. How did you come? This about? is game changing. This is game changing. It's called Q5 ID, and they are they have many uh, applications of their technology, which will be usable in many forms, and not just strictly for straight identification. It eventually will work in towards uh, children that are kidnapped and uh, things of that nature, and uh, it will be an enormous benefit in that area as well in terms of identifying immediately if a child right. has been taken, and they can notify rather than in a day on an Amber Alert, they can notify immediately. So that that once it moves into that arena, which will be very shortly, um, uh, they'll be doing a lot of other uh, wonderful applications with this. Right now, the most important part is getting people to use the Q5 ID application. They go to the app, takes about three minutes to sign up. It does all of that work. It does your fingerprinting, your, your palm printing. It does your photo scan on your face. If you think that was a lot, and it certainly is, it goes uh, deeper into uh, available um, uh, data that's out there uh, that proves who you are. And that would be IDs and passports and things of that nature. Uh, and then it also concludes with a 30 second phone call with a live person that knows that you are now a live person and you're not a bot. Why wouldn't that have saved uh, Elon <laughs> Tesla a uh, lot, a of, lot of money? Well, yeah, exactly. Well, well, yeah. Who knows what he's doing? He doesn't even know what but he's it is, doing. But, you, but you, you, you put your finger on it, Brandy. It is. This is culture changing. Uh, yeah. And it's an enormously thing because what will it will eliminate the need for passwords or any of that stuff, because nobody can be me. Right. Nobody can be you. You are you are individual and everything is stored off the Web. 
Wow. Yeah, because right so now. So you're not, it's not there. It's not online. It, because right now, it, you know, uh, I'll, name, I'll name a bank and they probably have your social security oh, number, 100%. your date of birth and everything. So to go to hack that, sure, I'll, I have to hack the bank. And why do I hack the bank? Because that's where the money is. But it's also <laughs> where the personal ident- personal identification is. Yeah. Now. So and- once that's eliminated, now we're talking about a whole new level of experience on the Internet. And also, what will that help with the dark web stuff? Because yes, I, oh yes, because people are selling identities. Absolutely, it it uh, it eliminates that you because you can't do anything with them. Someone could get my social security number. They could get everything about me, but the the bank won't let it through because it's not me. Right. There, it's it, it, in order for it to be certifiably me, it has to become through the Q five ID. So as the banks are now all signing on to this and saying that that's the way we're going. That's what I was wondering. So the businesses too are going to go through this process for, mm-hmm. for because I mean, it has to go both ways, obviously, like me. <laughs> Guys and girls, here's the deal. Having a pleasure practice is so good for you. It is actually self-care. It can improve the quality of your sleep, help you de-stress, relieve pain, even give you that lift from within, that glow as you go about your day. But most importantly, exploring your pleasure on your own helps get you in touch with yourself. And then you learn more about what you like and you can tell the men what they need to do better or the women. That's right, it leads to better sex. So I'm talking about pleasuring yourself, guys and girls. This is a wonderful sex um, toy. It's not really a toy, I feel like it's a sex partner. It's called Air, so check it out. It's a suction vibrator from Dame Products. Air is a powerful arousal tool for fans of oral (laughs) stimulation. Who's not a fan of that? Dame's Air creates thrilling pulses of air and has a soft seal around your (laughs) clitoris. 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 I never know how you say that. Clitoris. Clitoris. You can go either way. So you can go all the way, right? Away. And it's so simple to use. And not only is it perfect for beginners, it's also waterproof. Hello, bathtub. And features five intensities and five vibration patterns. So you can explore what works for you. And the best part, Dame offers hassle-free returns within 60 days. So your satisfaction is literally guaranteed. So power up your pleasure with Palm or any of the other toys. There's even one for couples, guys. So don't think this is just for us ladies go to dameproducts.com enter my name as your code brandy b-r-a-n-d-i today for 15 percent off site-wide and guys there's something for everyone guys and girls and couples it's all there for you so go get your glow on um so it's the so is the app available right now uh, it's opening up within two weeks. If you go to the app right now, you'll find all of the preliminary information for you. Put your name in, your, and they'll notify you as soon as they're up and ready to go. It's Q5ID is the uh, is the app. Very simple to remember. Wow, it really is. That it, this does sound like a game changer, and especially for me, like I forget all my passwords. All I always have to reset. No, I know, and you're constantly. And constantly having to change them. Yes. I get a call, you know, it's like, oh, no, you must add the special character now and like a little exp- exactly. exclamation point. Yeah. Oops. Well, that's what I do. Well, I do a dollar sign. <laughs> oh, OK. Well, well so if anyone wants to break in. You are more enterprising than I. But it's uh, but you imagine let's let's look at some other applications too. Uh, 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 dating sites, big big thing. Nobody, everybody is six foot tall, has beautiful <laughs> blue eyes, and when they when they show up for the lasagna meeting, yeah, they're you know they're like exactly. Yeah, yeah. Where are you? Where did you come from? I've had that happen. I'm not going to lie to you. It's been very uh, so. Now they can't lie, right? They like if you're no, they can't unless it's Q five ID. It, it's just not. It's not possible. Yeah. What happens if I get a facelift and then I look different? Do I just have to go back and update it? Because, yeah, because you control it. And that's the beauty of it. The bank doesn't control it. Q5 ID doesn't. It's your ID and you always control it. It never leaves. It's always an encrypted little ball in your world and it never leaves there. So how do we use it? Like, let's say on the computer, like instead of a password, how do we use it for logging on to like Amazon or something like that? How does that work? Well, Amazon would have Amazon will have the Q5 ID certifiable. And so it just immediately when you go on, it pings and it's immediate. 
Wow. This you is- don't have to you don't have to sign up anymore. All that stuff goes by the wayside. Oh, my kids are not going to be able to use my Amazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> because they're not you. No, and they're very shady. And they're like, oh, we didn't do that. We didn't order that. And I didn't get that. I'm exactly. like, oh, huh. yeah. yeah, I don't trust those fuckers. Yeah, a world a world without passwords is a much safer and more uh, um, accessible environment, I think. And I think it'll make the Internet a much more rewarding and, and safe experience. Yeah, I mean, as it is right now, um, yesterday I was in the car with my son and we heard something and then, you know, Suri heard us and then she was sending a message to someone. I'm like, it's fine, Mason. Like all of our information is already out there. It's like, you know, you're, I'm on my computer and everything I've ever looked at is like ads on the side. And it's just like, right. like every, even I, I swear that Alexa is spying on me. I, I just said her name, she's probably gonna ask. <laughs> but I'm like, uh-oh, what if she heard that? What if they're like, I- I'm waiting, I'm waiting for her to say, no, I'm not. Right, exactly. She is getting a little sassy. Um, no, I like, I definitely, I'm that person that has the same password and then I have to change it and I forget it. And I'm telling you, and they're like, save password. And I never save passwords for um, my bank site because that scares me. Like, why would mm-hmm. I want anyone to know, you know, or you know what I mean? Like how to get onto my account. Because, yeah. I mean, really. Well, regardless of, yeah. And, and regardless of whether they save them, the information is out of your hands. It's now in their version of the cloud. So therefore, they control your identification in your reference with and your dealings with them and also in their ability to be hacked and for that information to move on down the line to once you, as you describe it, the dark web. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I unfortunately, I was like, is that a real thing? And the kids like, you can buy anything you want. You can buy an identity, a fake ID, a, a gun, God forbid. Like you can buy anything on the dark web. And that's very scary to me. Um, yep. Yep. And my brother actually had had his identity stolen um, a couple of years ago. And it was such a nightmare getting like just the taxes and getting it all of that stuff back. It was, it took him a year and a half to get his own identity mm-hmm. back. Yeah. I can believe it. I can believe it. Well, I stole Jay Peterman's identity and I'm not giving it back. So <laughs> well, I, <laughs> that means I will eventually that means I will eventually lose that. Well, but, uh, so I suppose this probably is a perfect follow up for me to. Right. <laughs> to continue. Well, I, I was like, wow, he's really just making I didn't realize that you were involved in the tech world at all. Because, you know, actors are so creative. A lot of times they stay in that. Not that this isn't creative. Don't get me wrong. This is like it's tech tech. What is what is it? It's like technologically creative you know what i mean yes it's just a different kind of creative but um it's a tech te- yeah, technical yeah now how did how did you meet up with your partner um you said you have a partner well this is something I, you know i meet i meet a lot of people uh in in the world and i'm fascinated by interesting ideas um they uh they were just a, a q5 idea was just forming and uh i met them at a, an event i was hosting we talked about it and they said uh would you be interested in, in in helping us along in terms of communicating what this is and i said well not only would i i should because i think this is such a phenomenal thing this is not just a oh it's a nice little side gig or something like that as i say this is a culture changing thing that is going to change the way that we do uh, it's going to make the internet and our lives a safer. lot safer and a lot more accessible, yeah. which I think is going to be just as important as well. I mean, you can bring up, uh, you know, all, as I mentioned, dating services, but you bring up, you know, the people that are something as simple as being a real estate agent. And I'd like to know that the people that are coming to see me at an open house are genuine, real people. Right, not serial killers, because I did see a Lifetime exactly. movie that, that actually did, that happened. It was on Snap. It was horrible. That really did happen. And <laughs> I know I go off subject a lot, but um, it is scary. You know, you want you want to see like the check mark, like that sounds silly on Instagram. But if somebody says, oh, I'm so-and-so, you know, and I want to take you on a date, and it's nice that you have that verification process Process, so you know they're telling exactly. the truth. So now we'll have the Q5 verification purple check. Mark. And it's it's takes it takes three minutes of your life to download, get on, and it's the easiest thing to do. Oh, I think absolutely it should be, be done. And I would do it for your children too as oh, well, for sure. because it's very important to have the, to have their have those so that you can use it for further recognition. God forbid anything happen. I'm just like, so are you still doing the acting thing, or is this how you're putting all your energy? Oh, sure, yeah. 
Oh, no, I, I have this. I have another company that uh, takes uh, energy and turns it into or takes uh, waste and turns it into large amounts of energy with zero emissions. So that's another uh, idea that I have going on right now that we're doing very well with. It takes any form of waste like tires and uh, all sorts of municipal waste um, wow. uh, and, and turns it immediately into usable, large amounts of usable energy, either electricity or liquid fuel. So wait a minute. But it does it with absolute zero emissions. How, how- how is that? I mean, why are we not all using that already right now? We have so many waste. You know, we like, all will be. We all will be. How rich are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's you know, I think I, I think of it in terms of how rich I am, and in terms of coming across great ideas, it's very intellectually satisfying to to be part of what you know is a great yeah. idea, and that is going to change. You know, what your legacy will be. You left this thing behind you, rather than my characters. Uh, well, we love your characters, <laughs> but, uh, which I'm proud of. Which, yeah, I, yeah. which I'm very As proud of, and I don't mean to I don't mean to make light of that. But uh, but yes, I think the I love I love these two technologies that I'm dealing with. I have a couple of more things that are interesting too. But it's this is my life. It's uh, it's business outside of uh, a business outside of theater. Okay, guys, it sounds weird, but I always say trust your gut. And in this case, this is kind of their motto. Your gut, I don't know if you guys know this, but it's the second brain of your body. So you have to keep it very healthy. And so I found this company, Aura Organic, and that's their goal. Aura's Trust You Gut probiotics and prebiotic supplements contain some of the world's most powerful probiotic strains, along with the prebiotic strains to help the good bacteria thrive in your gut so probiotics can work smarter, not harder. So basically, if you get rid of all of the bad bacteria, you need to have the good bacteria to take over. And this gives you both of them. So this is like one pill wonder. A healthy mix of probiotics in your gut has been linked to having a strong immune system and can even positively impact your mood. Aura's Trust Your Gut contains highly researched probiotic strains that are resistant to stomach acid and can colonize the small and large intestines, which it's very hard to do to colonize in there. <laughs> and it's hard to colonize in a lot of places, but the intestines are very difficult. And that's where you get your greatest health benefits from. So an Aura is radically transparent with an obsessive focus on quality control. Aura tests every batch of its products at third-party accredited laboratories and publishes the test results for your view on their website. So you know exactly what you're putting in your belly. So get 30% off your first subscription when you text Brandy to 64,000. We all text all day, guys, so it's easy. Text Brandy, B-R-A-N-D-I, to 64,000 and get 30% off your first subscription. That's Brandy to 64,000. Super easy. Make a song. Brandy to 64,000. Message and data rights may apply. They usually don't, but terms apply. Available at AuraOrganics.com slash terms you're helping people you're gonna it, this that kind of stuff changes the world especially with gas being six dollars a gallon right now i mean i have an electric car thank god but still my electric bill is going all like through the roof because i have an electric car um but well yes but you have to realize the electric car that you have produces more a more of a carbon footprint than any gas car would because all of the the uh, the carbons that it takes to create the the battery the car itself all of the stuff that was taken for the manufacturing sites you're you're producing way more carbon footprint than you would be with the, just a gas oh my car. god i, re- I really i really thought i was doing something good for the environment and 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 add to that uh, what elect, what type of what form of fuel do you think they're using to create the electricity for you to plug into? It's a fossil fuel. Great. So, <laughs> so in other words, we now have to inundate. Our, we have to inundate our utility companies uh, with more fossil fuels so they can create larger amounts of electricity to make everybody feel better for their electric car which is going to cost them more. In the well, run. can we now use what you're doing? You're making to, like. The oh waste. yeah, you could use it. You can literally right out of the the waste, right out of the uh, processor. You could put right in the tank. Wow, that is. I mean, that is life changing. Put it into electricity. Yeah, that's as what well. I'm saying. That's like life changing. 
Yeah, along with the uh, Q5 ID, it's uh, they're 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 both great. They're yeah, no, both ideas. of them are amazing, and now I really really want my Range Rover back because I hate my electric car. I'm not gonna lie, I fucking hate it. <laughs> it's like does. Yeah. What do you? Have? I got the Mustang Mach E. It's a new. It's oh, new. Okay. Um, by, like I didn't want to get a Tesla because everyone I know has a Tesla, and mostly my ex has one. I didn't want the fucking same car as him. Um, <laughs> but it just is so smart and it like breaks for me and it drives itself and i just like i want protection it feels so light when i'm inside of it i feel like if somebody hit me i would just crunch up mm -hmm. um but yeah well they are they they don't have to be of the same tensile strength that uh, a lot of other cars because they don't have to hold as much weight yeah no it's true. true um it's scary but yeah i'm actually getting my first my first electric car coming what are you soon. getting well, I'm getting one of the uh, early. Um, they, it's uh, the company is called Rivian. R -I, -I, I see. I know. It. Uh, they're yeah. They're uh, they're just coming. They're just starting to distribute them now. Um, I have a, a seven passenger uh, SUV coming, oh. which um, I'm really intrigued by. It's a beautiful looking car, and um, I'm really buying it for that reason. And I'd like to have an electric car. I just yeah. I would. I'd like to try it. I hate it. I mean, getting gas is the, my, like, my nemesis. Even as my kids got older, they, I would say, okay, it's your turn. Get out. Put the gas in. I have two boys. I would literally sit there. We'd get back in the car. We'd drive off. I have zero gas still. I mean, it's I, they're useless humans, but I love them. Um, <laughs> but no, I love them very much. And I'm like, oh, it was just the bane of my existence. So I really thought I was doing a good thing by getting an electric car. But they do have a, um, have you seen the solar powered cars with the things on the top of, um, on the roof? Yeah, it's, solar doesn't work well. Um, that's always been a problem. Solar and wind are not, are not uh, uh, really appreciable forms of energy right now. They're not dependable uh, because wind, uh, you know, it's got to be moving from five to 15 miles an hour. Any more than that, it doesn't work. Any less than that, it doesn't work. So it's a very narrow margin of efficacy. And then the same thing with solar is that it has so many problems. Solar can't move. You can't move solar energy. Um, once you create something uh, with it, it, you've got to use it right there on site. It can't be moved. So that's a difficult thing. In other words, you can't, you know, you can't use solar to um, uh, to uh, to fire up our grid because it's just so cost. Uh, it's just so costly to move that energy from the from the place where it is created to the place where it is used. So it's very difficult. Yeah, energy energy is cheap. Let me let me just put it this way: energy is cheap to create it's really difficult to move it um the, the you know the electric lines everything that we have that's all the grid that was we call it it's very expensive very very expensive and that's the that's that's where the real cost is i know i would never have thought about having to move it and you know what i mean i know that that's what those are for but i never thought about the cost that goes into that well that's all the hardware it's in, and it's and it's so and it's and it's an antiquated grid if you think about it, I mean, we're moving electricity through this country the same way we did back when electricity was invented. Right. We haven't really. Now, there are ways uh, and I have seen a couple of things where you're actually moving it um, through the air, almost like a, a Wi-Fi signal, almost like a Bluetooth type of thing where you're moving electricity that way. Uh, if that is successful, then that's there's another game changer, being able to move without putting a grid down. That's but what if an airplane takes off and it flies through electricity on accident and it blows up? <laughs> well, the, 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 the energy is reduced to a different okay. level uh, of little of little of, little bits of zeros and ones in digital <laughs> form, and it's able to be recreated. Yeah, so the plane isn't good. No, it's, it's not going to be like a right. bird, not like the birds go through the engine. No, I'm sorry. I have a fear of flying. So everything's like, wait, how will that affect my fear of flying and heights? Um, but that, no, that's amazing. And like, let's get back to the, the auth like the authentic, authenticating your identity part, because I feel like that's the first yep. one that's going to be available to us. Um, you know, that would have helped me a few years ago because I actually had to buy my own Instagram name back. Somebody had a fake account oh, with dear. my name and I had to pay like $5,000 to buy it back because somebody already had it. And I was like, somebody bought my name? Like, this is crazy. I have to buy my own name back. But if, you know, well, that, that was before they had the, the blue check marks. Um, sure. Uh -huh. But this will this will basically like, yeah, you won't have to deal with anything like that anymore because it'll say, this is actually the person who it is. 
Wow. That is amazing. Well, thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited for this. Well, thank you. And uh, so in a couple of weeks. It's going to be a lot of fun. It is. So we just have to go to the app and. Go to the app, which is uh, Q5 ID. If, uh, if, if you're going, if you happen to be there before they open it up for the actual registration, leave your, um, just leave your, uh, your email address and they'll get back to you and tell you we're open for business. Come on and register. I'm going to do it as soon as I'm done here. I'm not even lying. <laughs> this is, I, cause I always, I don't know why people always steal my identity, like in different, in random ways. I don't know why. It's just always me. I'm like, don't people kind of maybe know who I am and that that's person's not me, but I guess not. Haven't got to your level yet. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here. You've been a complete delight. Oh, Brandy, enjoy to talk you to too. you. You too. And good luck with I mean, you're not gonna need luck. You're gonna you're gonna be really rich. Well, I'm gonna be busy. Busy and rich. <laughs> I mean, I like both. I, I don't like when I'm not busy and I really hate when I'm poor. <laughs> Money is freedom. That's all it is. It is. It's, and it doesn't really mean that much, but it, it is. That's one thing. And it helps with stress levels. You know. It sure does. <laughs> Ryan? Brandy. Th this guy's brilliant. I really want to know how- much is he doing, you know? That's how what much I'm is saying. He, like, like, how much, yeah. Like he's he's really worried about more leaving a legacy and helping the world than he is about, you know, being an actor, which most actors are so self absorbed and involved, they're not worried about the world. And now I feel bad that I have an electric car. <laughs> I know. Like so what do you think about hybrid? Is you think hybrid's okay? Nope. Because you have one, and I'm just going to tell you no. <laughs> you were saying the battery is the issue, right? So well, it's like I do have a you're battery. adding both to it. Ugh, so mine's way worse. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't care because he's getting a seven seater electric car. That's, so that's what really I'm, confused me is like it's you're making a worse footprint, but I'm also going to get one. But he's also changing the world in a way better way. So if anyone deserves one, he deserves a, a electric SUV because he's seven also seater. making his own electricity. So we can't really say anything. Seven seater is like a bus. Cool. Like I know. Um, Bus. That's a big car. It's like I guess those like uh, those Subarus have like the like, three tiers of seating, right? So maybe that's what it is. Like, is he a big family? A... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> he said his son. I th meant I didn't hear about any other children. But listen, if the man wants it, he can have it because he's changing the world in better ways than you or I are even trying to. I mean, Stop it. who knew? No, but you don't. I mean, <laughs> I thought I was doing a, the world a good deed by getting an electric car. I was like, okay, yeah. I'm going to help. That's I'm going to do my part. And I recycle yeah. sometimes. And he just threw that right in your face. <laughs> yep. And then he said he's getting one. So I'm confused, but I don't yeah, care because I am so excited about this. This Q5 is a Q5, right? I can't uh, like. Yeah. We yeah. should make it a purple check mark. Because Instagram is blue, and then that would mean you're a Q5 verified, and that way I hope you that go on. Ex exactly, I was gonna say I hope that a lot of companies use require, it. Require, you know? like, yeah, yeah, require it, yeah. yeah. Because then if you go on, you put your credit card information in it, like you'll have a exactly. Q, like you have to do it through the Q5 thing, and then no one can exactly. take that credit card number. That's gonna be the hardest part is getting those companies to to just be like, we're gonna start using this Q5 thing. Yeah, I, don't, I feel I right. Don't, I feel like that's got to be the hardest part. No, because we're all the customers, and, and we're that's what we want. We want it to be safe. I mean, I feel like I don't think the companies are going to have an issue with it either. Because I, you know, how much if we get fraud, they get fraud. I mean, obviously, if like you know, uh, Facebook or Instagram, or whatever, start using it, or, ha or it's a being it's a, yeah. an offer that you have uh, as a security check, we're going to use it. But it's like, how do how does John convince Facebook, Instagram, even though that's the same company, how do they convince them like, hey, use this. It's going to be better. Because we're Trust. all going to insist because we've all had like fraud and identity. Like, right. I think that the more people that sign up for it, I mean, I would rather like buy something from someone, let's say on eBay that has a a purple check mark or you know what I mean like somebody you trust or if it's a website yeah. that's like a little shady and like you're why yeah. not wanting to put your credit card number in like yeah. I, I would want like them to know this is really me and you can never take this card number 
because you would need you would need the authentic like you would need to verify that it's you to use it and they you yeah. know what i'm saying they wouldn't yeah. have the, they couldn't do it i couldn't agree more i'm just curious to see like how easy it's going to be to get the companies to start so trust using, me they're going to do it yeah they're going to do it okay. i know it okay okay um, i'm playing a devil, devil's advocate that's stupid <laughs> don't be rude to my boyfriend john not cool <laughs> Oh, did you? Yeah, right. that's right. I guess he's not single, huh? I, I we said wife and son, and I, yeah, I'm guessing yeah. that means not single. Dude, so you weren't ready to ask him on a date? I mean, Ryan, stop. <laughs> okay, I really, Ryan, don't we, You're the you are the devil. You're not even just an ad, advocate. You're okay. just straight up Lucifer. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I have a haiku. Yeah. It's called fraud. Fuck you, fraud. Don't say my name is Todd or Maude, because that would be fraud. Fuck you, fraud. Fuck you, fraud. A nod to Todd, to fraud, to Maude. <laughs> A nod to fraud. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks for listening to Brandy Glanville Unfiltered. Download new episodes every week, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And be sure to leave us a rating and review. And while you're at it, check out some of the other great shows available on Straw Hut Media.